You know, the price of cars today is ridiculous, outrageous, and it's been that way for quite some time now. It first got to the point where cars were cost as much as a entry-level house. My goodness, and it's still like that. New cars, used cars, it's the same thing. But whatever, Linda and I can't afford to buy a used car or a new car. And we're main, we used to buy a used car with uh, about 100,000 miles on it every few years. And then we would, when it got to 175,000 miles, we would sell it because at, at 175,000 miles, it still has value to somebody else. So we would go ahead and sell it at that point. Now we can't afford to do that. So this car has got to keep going until the engine dies and then we stick in a new engine or transmission, whatever it takes. We got to keep this one running. Well, I don't like working on a dirty engine and spraying it with some engine degreaser and then hitting it with a hose every once in a while, like every, every month or something, really helps a lot. Everything is pretty well sealed on an engine. I've been doing this since I was 16 years old. In the old days, you had, used to have to have a can of WD-40 with you to spray off the spark plug wires so that the engine would start again. But these new ones are so well sealed, it's easy to maintain and it sure keeps your engine pretty. What tends to happen with cars though, used cars, ones that you own, is one little thing goes out, like uh, you get a broken lens on your turn signal lights or something and you don't do anything about it and you wait and then another thing little thing goes out and you wait and and you don't do anything and then another thing little thing goes out little items and pretty soon you're driving a piece of junk and I try to stay on top of all these little things you know when the brake pads need replaced and just stuff belts and all these things try to stay on top because if you wait too long now you're talking an expensive repair bill whether you do it yourself or take it in to have it done this year we had some unforeseen difficulties and I kind of let things go <laughs> for a little bit and now I'm trying to catch up Yesterday I changed the oil, which is just normal maintenance, but by doing it myself, I can make sure I got the best oil filter in there. And I can do other things and check other things while I'm underneath looking at stuff. And I can also grease the lube joints on the steering, something that uh, garages don't do anymore for some reason. This lens was broken on this side and I had a burnout bulb on this side and I just replaced both lenses and all the bulbs these these aren't expensive. You buy them on Amazon and I don't know, they were maybe 25 bucks a piece or something like that, including shipping. And they just pop out and pop back in. Doesn't even take any tools to get them out of there. I don't know, your car is probably different. But what I'm saying is this stuff is a lot simpler to do than what you think. You can see my emergency brake goes all the way to the floor. So today's project is to remove the rear wheels and uh, take care of that situation. I just replaced the emergency brake pads not that long ago and they were supposed to be self-adjusting but I'll tell you what they're not so I kept waiting for that pedal to come up and it doesn't so I'll be fixing that today broken fog light lens I'll be ordering a new fog light today the other side's all right and once again it's something that's just a couple bolts hold it in there and you got to adjust them afterwards but that needs replaced That's not good. Easy to fix though. Yesterday for 20 bucks, I ordered a pair of these struts and they just pop off of here with a screwdriver, just a clip and then a screwdriver, easy fix. So those are coming too. So the point here is not to let all those little problems become one big mess. When little tiny things go wrong with your vehicle, try to repair them right away. Because I don't know about you, but at today's prices, 
I can't afford to buy a, a low mileage used vehicle, let alone a new one. So I'm stuck with what I got. And it's important to me to keep it up. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat. Well, if you've let your car go for a while, the best thing you can do is make a list of all those things that need to be done from the simplest ones to the more complex, more expensive ones. I had to go get a homemade cheater bar here to give me a little more leverage on my wrench. And speaking of leverage, what you do is you take care of the cheaper repairs, the less expensive repairs first, because as you get those out of the way, it gives you more financial leverage to take care of the more expensive repairs that you may have to do on your vehicle. Think about that. Anyways, make a list and start bringing your car back to shape. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, please subscribe. If you want to promote this channel, that's the best thing you can do for us is, is subscribe. It's free to you. And don't forget that Every Friday we have a do-it-yourself video or a camping video or a travel video. Usually earlier in the week, like on a Monday or Tuesday, I may do a review on some product that I like. Anyways, see you around.